I've been an activist for over 15 years, but before my own imprisonment in Iran as a political hostage, I didn't feel like there was much that I could do to help stop and end mass incarceration or the torture of our communities. I wish that it hadn't taken going to prison myself and experiencing that suffering to bring me closer to my communities that are so affected by this. And I don't think that it should have to take that. Something as simple as listening to the stories of the people that are most affected, going to a play, talking to someone or writing a letter to someone who's incarcerated. These may seem like small acts, but they contribute to much larger events that have had already a huge impact. One example is the California hunger strike that happened five years ago where 30,000 prisoners went without food, some of them for up to 60 days. One of their core demands being the end of solitary confinement. That action wouldn't have been possible without relationships from people outside and inside that make our prison walls breathe, that bring transparency to a very opaque and draconian system. These small actions add up and create change that's much larger. Over a thousand people have now gotten out of solitary confinement in California's prisons because of a lawsuit that was inspired by the same leaders of the California hunger strike. This is just one example of many of how anyone can contribute to change around mass incarceration. Places like Glide provide that kind of opportunity for people to connect with some of the communities that are the most affected by poverty, by mass incarceration, by violence. That human connection is pretty essential in, in understanding what it means to be part of, of your community. I just love that there are places like Glide that, that give people that chance.